Today we're going to be going over the install of the EJK fuel controller on the Ural uh, motorcycle. Uh, so in your EJK kit, you're going to be getting all these things here. Uh, of course, the box that it comes in, the instructions to do the install, uh, an EJK and Dobek performance sticker, a settings card to record your settings for your fuel controller, uh, Velcro patch, and zip ties for the install, uh, and then of course the fuel controller. Uh, you're also going to get this little piece in there. It's for a special part of the install, which we'll go over later. First off, we're going to start by bypassing the stock O2 sensors located here and there. Uh, we'll begin by routing the O2 sensor harness on the EJK through the bike to get up to these sensors. Your O2 harness will have these style connectors. Uh, the O2 sensor connectors are located here and there. I'm going to start by routing the O2 harness up underneath the tank here and so it comes down right in front where the O2 sensors are located. Now that I've got the EJK O2 harness routed up underneath the tank and moved to the front of the vehicle, I will be connecting the O2 sensor harness to the stock O2 sensors. To disconnect the stock O2 sensor connector, um, depress this tab here and then pull down on the bottom half. It should come right apart. To connect the O2 sensor harness to the stock O2 sensors, uh, I'm going to take the female end of the EJK harness and plug in the male end. And then the male end of our harness goes into the female end of the stock O2 location. And we'll do this for both sides. We now have the O2 harness wired into the stock O2 sensors and zip tied out of the way. I'll also note that on one O2 harness you'll have pink and brown wires. This is for channel one or cylinder one. On the other side you'll have purple wires for cylinder two. Uh, these will match up with your injector harnesses. Now I'll route the uh, fuel injector harnesses through the bike. Uh, remember when I was talking about cylinder one and cylinder two? Your injector harness with yellow wires is going to be on cylinder one and the other injector harness with the green wire is going to be on cylinder two. I've routed the har injector harness through the bike going through right through there uh, so that cylinder one injector harness comes out on this side and cylinder two comes out over here. Uh, our fuel injectors are located right here and right there. To disconnect the fuel injector, I'm going to lift up this red clip and then depress the tab and it should come right off. To hook up the injector harness, we're going to take the female connector of the EJK and hook it up to the fuel injector until it clicks and then push down the red tab to lock it in and then take the male connector of the EJK harness and hook it up to the stock mating connector also, also making sure to depress the red clip here to lock that in Next we're going to hook up the ground wire. I routed this through the same side as I did the fuel injector harness. Uh, the ground location is going to be located underneath this panel here, right on the battery. Next we're going to talk about this additional uh, connector harness that was included in the kit. This is going to give our EJK 12 volt power. Normally we get 12 volt power from the fuel injector. But on the Ural, the injector stays powered up all the time. So we need keyed up power. Uh, so we're going to get it from back here uh, at the brake light switch. You're going to have uh, two connectors back here for the brake light switch. Uh, we're going to be pulling power off the one with the pink wire coming out of it. Uh, we've already done the modification to the connector for the install. Uh, both connectors are going to look like this one here. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the shrink tubing off the bottom half of it and uh, crimp on the terminal and supplied spade connector 
uh, to that wire. Now take your power up harness and hook it up. The female connector is going to go into the male spade connector and the male side is going to go up into this connector. Our long red wire will be where we hook up to the EJK controller to get power from. Now we've got our uh, power up harness connected and we got the long power wire going to the fuel controller there and the EJK is hooked up and ready to go. All right, now we're going to fire up the EJK and make sure everything's functioning properly. Uh, when we key on the power, uh, you'll get notice that you get a red and green flashing back and forth. This is uh, no injector signal. This is because we have not started the vehicle yet uh, and the injectors are not firing. Uh, now we'll start up the vehicle. And when you start it up cold, you'll get uh, green and blue uh, showing. Once it's warmed up though, you should just have one green, slowly flashing LED. To make adjustments on your EJK, you simply hit the mode button to access your different modes of adjustment. The LED will flash uh, the color of the fuel zone that you're adjusting. To make adjustments in that fuel zone, you hit the plus or minus button. Now that we've got the EJK controller all hooked up and we've tested it to make sure it's functioning properly, we can zip tie the harness up out of the way to avoid any hot or moving parts. I've located the EJK fuel controller right here on top of the air box and put all the excess harness underneath this side panel. 